Next up, we have uh, USI uh, junior guard Jalen Randall, first year with the program after transferring from Alabama and AM. So, Jalen, just uh, what are your general thoughts about you and your team for this upcoming season? Uh, I love the team. We got a lot of players who, like, don't put themselves first. Like, we are coming together and trying to be, like, actually a championship team, not really trying to make self selfish players all the time, trying to make sacrifices. A lot of guys stand in the gym. A lot of guys are cool with taking criticism. And that's great. That's especially great for a player who comes from kind of the opposite, where it's like, okay, you're looking for your own all the time. When you have a team that wants to be together, that's amazing. Anybody has a question for Jalen, let me know down in the chat and I can call on you. What What is, Jalen, where do you think this team has made the most progress since day one of practice till right now? And I know we're still a couple of weeks away from the first game, but what mm -hmm. would be that biggest thing right now? Uh, I would say the biggest thing would be mindset because, like, our coach, he pushes every day, like, hard. And there's a lot of things that would make a lot of players want to quit, but we don't quit. So I'd say mindset, mental toughness for sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call on Brad here in a sec to ask the question, but I want to ask you one more. What was the reason you picked USI? Why why, why this program? What made you want to be a Screaming Eagle? Uh, as soon as I talked to Coach G. Uh, Coach Spru, they were letting me like express myself, and I can't find you can't find a place better than being able to be yourself. You know, he let me do that, so I, I knew automatically that this was an amazing pick for me. Perfect. We'll go here to Brad Klein. Go ahead, Brett, with your questions, Brad. Hey, Jalen, uh, you may have touched up on it just there a moment ago, but Coach was talking to me uh, during the team media day about how maybe you lost a little bit of confidence when you were at Alabama A&M. So Coach lets you be yourself, and Coach lets you spread your wings here on the court and off, but um, mm -hmm. can you tell me a little bit more, put some more meat on those bones about um, how and why the confidence kind of evaded you while you are at Alabama A&M and why it's different here at USI? Uh, really more so the confidence – was more so kind of like evaded from expectations and then what I was able to do. Like with me going to Alabama a and I was in my head and what I was talking about and preparing for was to do a lot. Like win freshman player of the year. I had big goals, big aspirations, but it came down to me being able to play under guys. And I know that it was a learning process. Like I'm not, I don't even regret the decision going to Alabama a and but it was a learning process that my coach decided I needed to play under older guys, and it actually paid off, to be honest, playing under playing under older guys, seeing what, how, where I could score at. Uh, made me value defense a lot more because that's what put me on the court, was knowing that I had to play defense and get on the court more so than scoring. In high school, I was a scorer. I would play prep school, I was a scorer. Getting on the court, the for Alabama I had to play defense, so it kind of like opened my mind up a little more. On defensive end. Yeah, you haven't played a game yet in the OVC, but this is OVC Media Day, so I'll ask you, what do you anticipate the main difference between the SWAC and this league being? Uh, The main difference probably would be guard play. Definitely guard play. SWAC more so. It was guard play, but, like, last year, our main offense was, like, high lows and more so too big. Like, I played with the defensive player of the year last year, so – well, my freshman year, I played with defensive player of the year. And then last year, I played with freshman player of the year, and they're both were bigs. So it was definitely a big or a team. When we spoke after you committed um, out of the transfer portal, you were the last commitment in this class, and you told me that largely it was because of the other guys that committed. And you saw what USI and what Stan Gerard was building. Um, are your mm -hmm. expectations met in the summer workouts and the preseason practices from what you expected and why you committed to USI? The rest of the roster? Yeah, they actually overmet because the, a lot of guys that stay in stay into themselves. Like we got Jack Milky, who's a shooter and he doesn't leave the gym. And we you have to watch out for him. So he's knocking down, he's knocking down shots no matter what. We got Sam Mervis, who's a pass for a point guard. We have we got a dude named Sam Cody, who's also a pass for a point guard who can also play defense really well. So we have a lot, a lot. We got Steven. Alex, yeah, we have a lot of a lot, a lot of pieces that I've seen from the recruiting that I was like, oh, they, they will fit my play style and I can play off them. Yeah, I love it. I asked Coach uh, about it. Oh, go ahead, Kyle. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have Treasure ask one and then we'll come back to you, Brad. Treasure, you want to ask your question to Jalen? 
just unmute yourself. She might be having an issue. There you go. Sorry. Um, hi, it's Tracy Washington with the Courier Press. Jalen, um, there are a lot of new um faces on this team, you know, this season from freshmen, transfers, and how excited are you about everyone, you know, kind of meshing together and what y'all can bring to this basketball team? I'm I'm really excited. This is be my first time like actually playing a basketball game from beginning to the end in like three years, two and a half years. So being able to do that and pick up from the new players, pick up from their experiences and add on to my experiences, it's going to be great. We have a lot of people from a lot of different places. So that's going to be great. We'll go up, Brad, if you want to go back to asking the question, I interrupted, go ahead. Sure, sorry to cut you off, Treasure. Um, I was asking Coach about it. I'll ask you, and uh, it does directly impact you if it goes through the vote in January for the Division One Council to cut that transition period, the probation, uh, and the postseason ineligibility from four years down to three. That would make you postseason eligible in your senior year if it goes through. So uh, when you heard that news, what came to mind, and uh, what are you thinking about right now as that vote approaches in January? I actually heard the news in class yesterday, and I was excited. <laughs> The whole class got excited, actually. <laughs> they were like, oh, Jalen, you guys can make the tournament next year. I said, we will going to make the tournament next year. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope it gets I hope it gets passed, honestly. I love it. I love it. Now, I got one more question for you, Jalen. Uh, we're talking a lot about Alabama A&M versus USI and your role coming off the bench. Now it seems like you're probably going to be a starter. How has Coach Gerard and the rest of the staff um, informed you about what your role is going to be for this upcoming season? Uh, they let me know that my role is really what it, I make it to be. Like, if I want to – there's nothing was given to me. It was more so I had I had to come in and work and show that if I wanted to be a starter, I had to take it, just like everyone else, to be honest. And I appreciate that. I really don't even like to say that things were handed to me. I just work, 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 and we'll see what happens. Thanks a lot, Jalen. Good luck this season. And, and hey, Kyle, I really appreciate the help. No, thanks, Brad. Thank and Jalen, uh, great, great job, Jalen. Thank you so much. Best of luck to you and your team uh, this season. Thank you. Thank you.